What is the biggest waste of money that you've ever witnessed being spent? I work for a cell phone provider in North America and have seen some pretty outrageous purchases, but by far the worst was a pregnant woman, 6 months pregnant, come in and buy two 64GB iPhone 5s with two cell phone plans that were more than $100 per month. At first I thought it was for her husband or something, but then she tells me I'm not an iPhone person, but my psychic tells me that these two bundles of join me are, so please keep the boxes sealed. We want them to open them when they are born. She was buying iPhones for her unborn children and wanted to give the phones to them as presents for being born. Woman came into the 7 to 11 I work at, bought $1,700 worth of $20 scratch cards, scratched them all off, won about $100 back, complained how these things are rigged, and left. I watched my buddy blow about $500 dollars at a strip club one night. The saddest part was, he thought the dancer was really into him. My ex-girlfriend had an obsession with phone psychics. Not all at once, but over the course of a single year she spent over dollar sign 15k getting life advice from multiple psychic lines. No one in her circle of family or friends could convince her to stop. I haven't spoken with her in a few years, but I wouldn't be surprised if she's still wasting her money on them. My former boss was putting in a backyard patio. She and her husband went to Home Depot in their Jaguar to buy some bricks for the patio. While there, they realized they didn't want to bring the bricks home in their Jag. They walked across the street to a Toyota dealer and bought an FJ Cruiser so they could bring their bricks home. They had no intention or need to buy a car. Oh, yeah, they put the entire vehicle purchase on a credit card. And they kept the vehicle. As an it guy, it boggles my mind. How many hundreds of thousands of dollars companies will shell out for software that clearly overlaps with something they already own but aren't utilizing, only to turn around shelve the software for years without even using it to its full potential. My sister was visiting with her boyfriend and kids a couple years ago, and I went shopping with them. We were in a mall for less than an hour and I watched her blow $2000 in 3 stores, about $1500 on clothing for herself, and $500 on clothing for her 2 kids. She completely emptied out their joint account, leaving no money for their remaining few days, without even batting an eye. She and I ended up having a falling out over it, because her boyfriend had been asking for this $50 personalized hat, since they flew in, and by the end of that hour, there was no money left to get it for him, and he made the majority of their money. Also, more recently, she spent over $1,000 renting out an entire club on a Friday night for her best friend's birthday, with food, and something like 8 people showed up. Being as frugal as I am, it's been difficult for me to listen to her stories of all the things she's bought for her and her friends when she can't even pay her bills and is constantly calling our parents for money. My brother got a $4,000 tax return. He has two kids and lives with our parents. Instead of spending the money on like 7 months rent, he spent over $3,000 in parts on his Plymouth Neon. Body kit turbocharger, intercooler, and rims on a 20 year old piece of shit car. He just recently totaled it because he drives like an asshole. Oh and he will be 31 years old next month. In Scandinavia, mostly Sweden, we have something called vasking. It's when you pay the bartender to pour a bottle of champagne in the sink just to show how wealthy you are. It's widely considered to be an asshole move, but I saw this one doucher bag do it with a $2,000 bottle to impress some bimbus with great success. I wanted to fedora whip the shit out of him. My dad oversees various remodeling and construction. His company was doing a remodel of a woman's bathroom, and he was in charge of figuring out what materials she wanted to use. She immediately said, what is the most expensive type of tile? I want that. He said she didn't even care what color it was or what it looked like. It cost her 10 grand. My city is spending $140,000 to rename the local airport after a president who isn't from here and probably never visited here because a couple of local radio DJs started a petition. I'm just glad they worked out all the important problems first. I watched some drunk ass wander up to a craps table in Vegas. Plop down $7,500 in markers on a hard 8 bet at the craps table, lose on the next roll, and walk away looking like he had no idea he'd just lost. 
I used to work in a high-end electronics store. You guys think Monster Cable is a rip? I've sold people thousands of dollars worth of cables. The worst example I can think of is a guy that wanted high-end speaker cable for his rear channel speakers in a surround sound system. I think they wound up at $1,000 for each speaker. Total we are talking about over dollar sign 5k in cables. I saw someone once buy a first class ticket on Air France from Paris to London. The guy spent something like $2,000 to fly 200 miles, not to mention the fact that the Eurista trains were directly below him and would get him to downtown London in half the time as the plane. A 4K TV for their PS4. Come on. 1080 is barely possible on those and regular television is going to take at least another 5 years to get on that train. At a very high end tequila bar in Vegas, they had a bottle that sold $4 sign 4k a pop, one shot was about $200. Some 50 plus year old douchebag rolls up next to us, a whore under each arm. He sees us kinda smirking at him, so he orders your most expensive tequila. Bartender shows him the bottle verifies everything is copacetic, pours three glasses a finger in each. Douchebag proceeds to make the bartender mix the tequila in a margarita. Bartender and I exchanged pained glances. And so it goes, all the men with the money don't know how to use it. Asterisk FOR the real tequila virgins, Badger California has a tequila train trip distillery tour, like wine tasting. I highly recommend it, but don't wear flip flops and board shorts it is formal was part of a company meeting for low-level managers at a famous golf resort the thing easily cost dollar sign 250k can't imagine what they paid for the big boys i used to play cards with a russian guy who spent seven thousand dollars on his gold-plated nokia he was a weird and somewhat scary dude his caller had came up as tina turner no idea why Saw a guy put $2,000 on a specific number on roulette, not black or red, on a specific number. If it had hit, he would have been dollar sign 70k richer, but of course it didn't. He didn't seem too pissed about it though, so I guess he was loaded. He just walked away, like it was no big deal. Freaking Starbucks, man. I worked there briefly in a suburb of Chicago, and couldn't believe how much money people would blow there on a regular, daily basis. It's one thing to treat yourself, it's one thing to grab your coffee every morning, it's a whole different animal when you, your husband and your kids are getting venti for pusinus every day, spending like $15 each time, on total garbage. I heard a lot of need my coffee, hehe, <laughs> but come on. If you need your coffee, get a tall coffee for 1. 35, not some sugary garbage for 5. 75. <laughs> Women's clothes. Yesterday I heard two girls talking about their jeans. One bragged that her jeans only cost them $120. That's how much I'd spend for a year's worth of clothes. My ex-girlfriend made a lot of life decisions, based on a psychic she knows in her home country. Apparently, her family have been consulting this woman for decades. This psychic knows her family so well, that she can basically make lucky guesses, or just do cold readings which her family then fits into their situation somehow. Usual psychic stuff. When we broke up, which wasn't the psychic's advice, but my common sense, her family prioritized consultations with this psychic as important an expenditure as buying food. I don't know how much they spent on seeing this woman, and I hope I never know. Standardized tests, plus monthly standardized benchmark tests, and workbooks to prepare for the standardized tests, none of it doing anything to actually help kids learn to read. Millions of dollars worth of nothing. An acquaintance of mine received dollar sign 350k for a work related accident that fucked up his body pretty good. He lives in a broken down trailer that smells like sewage, his wife drives a pose car and the kids have an old PC, but mostly just spend time on those barks. A fake he's blown most of it on casinos, beer, and drugs. I once worked in a small town that received huge amounts of money from the gas slash oil fields. They had classrooms filled with unopened computers. They had a state-of-the-art auditorium, but nobody knew how to work any of the a slash v equipment, so they just had two speakers hooked to a microphone. 
a friend of mine was Ruiyi that worked in the oil field, and when he saw what they were doing he volunteered to help them figure out the a v stuff, so at least they got some use out of that, but a lot of things just sat and became obsolete, while the students didn't learn anything, because nobody knew how to use the stuff they spent the money on. Wit. Bottle service in a Vegas nightclub. You spend $1000 for a bottle of vodka and some crappy mixers. Your cocktail server makes the drinks so oh strong, to the point they're unenjoyable, just so you'll run out faster and order more. If you're a group of guys, you have hosts bringing girls over to drink up your alcohol, and then leave, when you run out. Britney Spears. She was giving an interview a long time ago she gave an interview from an extended concert, stop she was doing in Hawaii. She was talking about how hard life is on the road, which really tugged at my heartstrings. But how amazing it was that she was still getting her favorite coffee from her favorite coffee shop in La. They were flying it fresh from La when the shop opened at 6am via private jet. Seriously? Let's say you have the money to do that. You still don't. But let's say you do it anyways. Then that's your dirty little secret you never share. Oh, this guy in Paraguay in the middle of the street is selling 32 GB cards for a 75% of the prices of the shops around. I'll better buy one for everyone in my family, since they're so cheap, and I can totally trust this guy I'll never see again. Sigh. People at the Apple store and other, predominantly electronics, retailers being talked into buying extended warranties and other superfluous crap on top of whatever they've already just shelled out on. Bonus points if the support plan slash warranty costs as much as on ear to the replacement, cost of the original item. My best friend paid dollar sign 15k for a single douse of cancer a treatment on his dog. Dog was already too far gone, had a massive growth tearing his shoulder apart. I was like tafuk, but of course was more compassionate in person. Dog still went, and they were out the dollar sign 15k. Poor dog. I had a friend in college who was a student loan abuser. When we first met our sophomore year he had pretty much already worked his way through one loan at which point he had decided to completely switch his major and basically restart college. His immediate family members had such bad credit that nobody was able to cost in on a second student loan until another friend's mom generously stepped in and signed. The first thing he did with his new loan was buy a nice car, and I'm pretty sure he studied for another year, before dropping out of college completely broke with no degree to show for it. Student loans ain't nothing to fuck with. I went to an arcade for a birthday party. It had a crane slash claw game that, for $2 per play, you could try to win jumbo sized stuffed animals. I got in line behind a woman, who had been already been there a while. We counted as she played around 30 to 40 times before we realized she would be there a while and left. Lo and behold, she was still at that game when the arcade was closing, a pile of around 10 stuffed animals at her feet. I'm a roofing contractor and the company I work for has a customer who had us put on a dollar sign 50,000 plus temporary asphalt shingle roof on his house while he and his wife decided on the what color slate they wanted for the permanent roof. All in all they spent over $200,000 on their roof in a few months, because they couldn't decide on a color. A former company I worked at spent $70,000 to hire a guy to come up with a mission statement. He worked for 6 months and wrote a single sentence the size of a paragraph that was incomprehensible. Our brand presence serves the ever-reaching goals of values with customer presence and obsequious delineation from where the core beliefs are born under the service we provide for the external sequestration of greatness among those who apply business excellence. Something like that, only about 4 times as long, and with a lot of fancy punctuation. I always pictured a guy in a striped shirt, a mask, a black beret, and a huge bag over his shoulder labeled loot. What a crook. The whole day Bark also outraged the stockholders that half the board of directors who approved the decision were fired. An acquaintance of mine tends bar. A couple came in on their anniversary and asked for the most expensive drink they had. He says a dom bum, which isn't really a drink. He tells them it's a shot of Louis E.I.E. dropped in dom. They say sure. At bar prices, this comes out to about $2,100 or so for the two drinks. No complaints, but shit this must have been disgusting, not to mention the travesty of ruining to top shelf drinks. I used to work at a place that did FedEx. 
One day, a woman comes in with a Costco-sized case of Kraft dinner. She wanted to ship it overnight to France because her grandchildren wanted KD, but they didn't have any in France. So I look up the cost for her and inform her it comes to dollar sign 2800. She just shrugged and said sure. I informed her it would probably be cheaper to catch a red eye to France and cook it for them herself. And she shrugged again and said, but I have plans for supper tomorrow.